Hi there, astrology lover. Before we dive into this week's horoscope, I wanted to let you know that it is not too late for you to sign up for Astrology Hub's seventh annual free forecast event. Now the live event has already occurred, but if you go to astrologyhub.com forward slash 2023, you will gain access to a replay of this event. Again, that link is astrologyhub.com forward slash 2023. Now as a bonus, you will also receive a yearly video horoscope for each zodiac sign. I love this part. Who would not want a horoscope for the year for their sun, moon, and rising? It's one of my favorite things. I'm sharing it with everyone I know. Now, these horoscopes are given by the astrologers, including myself, that are on our brand new platform, Astrologer Connect, which is another bonus. This platform is only open to those who have signed up for this forecast event. And I have to say, Astrologer Connect is an amazing platform that allows you to instantly connect with notable high quality astrologers through instant calls or by appointment. So you simply cannot go wrong by signing up for this event. Again, to get your replay and all these great bonuses, go to astrologyhub.com forward slash 2023. I know you're going to love it. All right, let's dive into this week. Welcome to Star Signed Horoscopes presented by Astrology Hub. This is your place to discover how each zodiac sign can work with this week's astrology. I am your host, Jamie McGee, an astrologer, author, and a member of the production team here at Astrology Hub. And I am really excited to dive into this week's astrology with you. Hey there, astrology lovers. Welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. I'm your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and today we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for December 16th through the 22nd. I do hope you're having a good week out there. Thank you for tuning in. I would love to know where you're tuning in from. All right, so this week has a lot of forward-thinking optimism woven into it. One of the biggest challenges we will have is not to overextend ourselves. Now let's talk about why. Okay, so first off, we have the sun moving into Capricorn. So happy birthday, Capricorns. We also have Jupiter shifting back into Aries, igniting past ideas and definitely inspiring some new ones. Both Venus and Mercury will lean into forward thinking ideas as they try in Uranus. Venus will also try in the North Node. Now the sun square to Jupiter is going to empower joy, but also the urge to overdo or stretch past our comfort zone or this is comfortable for me. So as you are out there preparing for your holiday season, try to dial into why you are celebrating. Above all, try to be the calm and the joy in the room. Others will notice. Trust me. All right, let's get ready to dive into the signs. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look at your week. All right, so your top three focuses are going to be one, a new approach, two, family and roots, and three, creativity. Now let's talk about why. Happy birthday season, Capricorn. This week will definitely kick off a new birth year on a high note. The desire to have fun and be creative will be the undertone of this week and the coming weeks. Now, the energy will help inspire new ways to approach old issues that you've been dealing with, or they could reveal what you've been working on behind the scenes, like you're ready to bring something out to the world. Now, to add to this, there will be a new sense of optimism highlighting your home and your roots as Jupiter moves back into this area of your life. Look for ways to expand and nurture your foundations, your home, where you feel secure, but also your partnerships, how the world knows you, your career, and your overall vitality. I do think you're going to have a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas to choose from as you move through this week. And I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, your top three focuses are going to be one, inner reflection, two, communication, and three, supporting changes at home. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this is a time of year where you often feel more reflective. Focusing inwardly will be beneficial for you across the coming weeks. You may have a project that needs your undivided attention or simply find that working alone, you can clearly lay out the foundation for the success that you want in the year ahead. Now, communication and local events could also have your attention as Jupiter moves back into this area of your life. Ideas from months back could surface again, or you may clearly see how you need to connect with those closest to you, especially after all that inward reflection that you're working on. Aquarius, look for ways to honor the past and lean into forward thinking shifts in your life, and you'll be able to make the most of this week. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time.
Okay, Pisces, let's take a look at your week. Now, Pisces, your top three focuses are going to be one, networking, two, resources, and three, communication. Now, let's talk about why. Over the coming weeks, you will have an intense focus on your dreams, socializing and networking. This is a great time to set intentions and goals that support those dreams. One-to-one conversations and group conversations and collaborations will be well supported. If you have any challenging conversations or words to write down, Now would be a good time to do it. Your self-esteem, your earning power and skill sets will also be amplified as you move into this week. So pay attention to anything that sounds familiar or has been presented in the past. Now, the one caution I have for you, Pisces, is try not to overextend yourself. Stay humble and on budget. This will leave you far ahead of the game and seeing in the green. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Aries, let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses are going to be one, your career, two, vitality, and three, earning power. Now, let's talk about why. Overall, your focus is on health and wealth. In the coming weeks, all energy will lead back to these two topics, which means this is a great time to set intentions and goals that support your career, your purpose, and your reputation. And of course, how this impacts your home and work-life balance. Stepping boldly out into the world as an individual will also be favored as Jupiter moves back into your sign. Now, it's possible that a new way to earn money or build your skill sets and resources will emerge. This offer should feel easy and in flow with with the path that you're on. If it doesn't, keep your eyes open for one that does. Try to stay humble and strategic as you work with this over-the-top energy that we have this week. Doing so will help you avoid unwanted reality checks down the road. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Taurus, let's take a look at your week. Now, Taurus, your top three focuses are going to be one, new directions, two, convictions, and three, individuality. Now, let's talk about why. As the sun moves into Capricorn, your focus will shift to new directions. You may feel eager to explore, learn, or teach something that's important to you. You may also feel called to look inward. You may find that the work you do alone or the time you spend reflecting has some profound results. And in many ways, this is supporting the new you that has been trying to emerge for a while. Lean into ways that support your self-expression and your beliefs. And of course, remember to stay humble and kind. Doing so will help you find the answers you are seeking all the faster. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, your top three focuses are one, ending to begin, two, networking, and three, committing to transformation. Now, let's talk about why. Your attention over the coming weeks will focus on where you are and want to go from here. Goals around money, loans, and deep commitments are likely, as well as the need to end something so you can emerge into a new version of you. Your dreams and those you keep in your inner circle are going to be there to support you. Now, this could mean old friends, current allies, or new ones that are starting to emerge or that you've recently connected with. Your biggest asset is how flexible you are. Lean into this gift as you transition from one level to a new powerful one. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Cancer, let's take a look at your week. Now, Cancer, your top three focuses are going to be one, partnerships, two, your reputation, and three, communication. Now, let's talk about why. Client work and partnerships will be highlighted for you as the sun moves into Capricorn. You may also find that your career and reputation are amplified during this period of time. That would be a great time to network and fortify your dreams and goals. Now, the caution here is too big, too fast, or rather saying yes to everything. Try not to do that. Doing so will leave you drained and wash away any genuine opportunities that you have. Look for authentic connections that benefit your path. Now, this may be challenging to find at times, especially when you rethink or overthink matters. But just remember, you cannot satisfy everyone, but you definitely need to satisfy yourself. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time.
Okay, Leo, let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses are going to be one, your work, two, health and wealth, and three, new directions. Now, let's talk about why. Now, your day-to-day -day routines will be amplified in the coming weeks. You may also notice that the work you do is impacting your reputation and your career. You're becoming known for something. Look for easy opportunities to help elevate the status that you have, as well as ways to overcome anything that's been challenging you in the past. Expansion, learning, teaching are also favored right now. Definitely keep your eye on the horizon. You are likely to find some opportunities there. Now, a word of caution is the grass is not always greener on the other side. So make sure that you connect with the right opportunity for you. If you appreciate what you have and the path that led you here, you will be able to clearly set goals that will benefit this journey that you are on. I do hope you have a great one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, your top three focuses are one, having fun, two, deep commitments, and three, new horizons. Now let's talk about why. In the coming weeks, dialing into what brings you joy and love and builds your creativity will be highlighted. This is a great time to express these energies, connect, network, and build on your dreams. Topics about shared resources and loans and transformation are also likely. You may be ready to commit on a deeper level or merge your resources with another to help accomplish a dream. Joy and partnerships will guide your focus toward new horizons. Now, if you've hit roadblocks around new directions, teaching or learning, you will be able to find needed workarounds. Now, the key step here is to look for solutions and then take action. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Libra, let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses are going to be one, your home, two, partnerships, and three, transformation. Now, let's talk about why. In this season, your roots, where you feel nurtured, will have your full attention. Partnerships are also amplified for you. This could be business partnerships or romantic partnerships. You may find that the connections you had in the recent past have a new spark. You or your partner could be in a different place now or have a perspective that's now helping you fortify this connection. Now, on the flip side, it's important to keep yourself grounded. Notice the red flags. This will give you a clear view of the reality that you are approaching. Now, this week's energy will help you move toward finding comfort with transformation and deeply committing to that next level of growth. You're starting to see the rewards of the work that you are doing. So I definitely want you to notice the wins that you come across this week. And I hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses are going to be one, communication, two, your work, and three, your partnerships. Now, let's talk about why. Your day-to-day -day communication will be amplified as the sun moves into Capricorn. This is a great time to adjust any imbalances in your routines or how you communicate. Clients and partnerships are also favored during this time. If there are any conversations that are normally challenging, now would be a great time to have them. You will find the perfect way to convey your point of view. Now, your work and topics of health will also be amplified as Jupiter returns to Aries. Look for opportunities to do work that uplifts you and expands your wealth, as well as ways to enhance your overall overall health, mind and body balance. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses are one, values, two, creativity, and three, your rituals. Now, let's talk about why. This is a time of year where you hone in on your values and your resources, topics of how you earn, what you have to offer, and how this impacts your daily work and reputation are likely to come into focus. The good news is that there is an easier flow to these energies, a sense of optimism that you can work with. If you have upgrades or adjustments you want to make, take action now. As Jupiter moves back into Aries, your creativity and desire to express joy and unconditional love will be enhanced. Creating something is definitely favored right now. Look for new loves or adventures that open your horizons and connect you with your dreams and that overall sense of vitality. The possibilities are simply endless. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time.
right. That is all the signs. I do hope you found some helpful tips and insights about how you can work with this week's energy. Now, just as a reminder, as you listen to this horoscope or any horoscope, please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. If you'd like to learn more about your sun, moon, and rising, we do have a free report for you. All you need to do to grab yours is go to astrologyhub.com forward slash sun, moon, and rising. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Astrology Hub Star Signed Horoscopes. If you'd like to easily jump to your personal horoscope, sign up to get a timestamp star sign episode emailed to you each Friday. Go to astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs and sign up now. That's astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs.